So score slitting is another popular method and score slitting has a few names. You may hear crush cutting, that's a popular way of saying it. But generally speaking, you're taking a round circular knife that is not sharpened to a point, it has a radius on it, and you're cutting up against a hardened roll. The idea is that the roll is a little bit harder than the knives so that the blades wear before the anvil wears. This is a hardened roll here. This roll is typically around 63, maybe 65. Somewhere in that range is, is the good Rockwell hardness. And it's hard. When we make these rollers, they're through hardened, designed so that you can grind them and have new life. When that time arises, you might get small grooves over time. So they're hard. They're so hard that these leaves, if you drop them, they would shatter almost like dropping glass. And they're packed on a roller, they're held on tight with nuts on either end, and you're creating a hardened roll that the blade's gonna cut up against. The score knife comes in a lot of different formats. The knife itself has an angle to it. So you hear things like 45 degree angles, 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and different radiuses. So that's the, the very tip. If it's too sharp, the minute you bring it up against the roll, it's gonna dull out. If it's too dull, you're not gonna get the cutting result you want. So there's a lot of varieties, different blades that go with those product groups. Now, what product groups do you score slit? Generally speaking, tapes. Tape is probably the number one thing, adhesive tapes. Foam, double coats, transfers, anything with foils and scrims and things of that nature, it's typically score cut. Also, you find it with wovens and non-woven products. So spun bonds, spun lace, typical melt blowns, they all score slit pretty nicely, but you could sure cut it as well. So depending on the application, and you know, there may be a benefit one way versus the other way. So you might see fabrics, things of that nature. Now, when you get into fabrics, you may have frayed edges and there are hot knife versions, but generally speaking, most of the time, it's a cold score knife doing all this type of work. Now, you can slit other things with score knives. You can slit films and it's done. Sometimes it's done because that's the only slitting method in the machine. There's also the ability to score cut paper and it does fine, but it's not as clean as, as shear cutting. Shear cutting is a rotary scissor basically and you're gonna get a nice clean edge. You're not gonna get any dust or debris and in the printing field and for other downstream uses, uh, dust could be a problem, even though it's not major, there is some dust. Those are just some thoughts on paper and score slitting. Now, when you score slit, you're running that score knife up against that hardened roll with the right knife, whatever it may be. And it's typically an air holder, meaning pneumatics, and you vary the pressure. The pressure set to cut through the product and you will put just enough to cut through and then some margin above it. You don't wanna to put too much because you'll dough the blight prematurely. Practically speaking, it's usually 10 or 15 PSI above what it needs to cut through. Score knives are typically put on dovetails. That's a dovetail. The nice way to do it is to have that dovetail bar drop away and provide clearance for multiple reasons. When the dovetail drops away, it makes it easier to thread and it e makes it easier to change the blade without taking the knife holder off the dovetail. So when you look at these applications, uh, that's a standard dovetail that drops away and allows you to A, thread the material and B, change a blade when one gets nicked up or dull. So that's score slitting. Very common these days to see score slitting with auto positioners because most of the time when you're score slitting, particularly tapes, there's a lot of cuts. And as the jobs get smaller and smaller, there's a lot of setup time and people are trying to minimize that. So it's not uncommon for us to build auto positioners that have 62 knife holders, 124 knife holders, 140 something knife holders for machines that are in that 62 to 72 inch web width. Very, very common and makes it really nice too because you could simply go between sizes. So you'll see people doing something like um, a one inch cut on a machine, auto positioning over to inch and a half, and then doing mix sizes. Oh, this is an interesting photograph because before I said, you don't see a lot of paper. True, untrue. In the tape world, a lot of the liners and even some of the products are paper-based and they have adhesives. So 
Score knives are very popular for those types of products, those laminates or tapes. I mean, if it's just plain paper, not so much, you see more shear. And one thing that's very common with score slitting is wicking. And wicking gets done by lubricating the blade. You gotta keep some type of lubricant on there, whether it's a mineral spirit or something else. The blade needs to stay wet to prevent picking of the adhesives. The thicker the adhesive, or the more aggressive the adhesive, the more likely you're gonna see materials picking. That lends itself to a number of different wicking systems. <laughs> we have auto wickers with felts that go across and lubricate on the fly so you can continually keep that blade wet. There's individual wicks that go on each and every holder and some variations in between. So that's score slitting. The way you choose one wicking system over another is based on the product. If the product doesn't pick easily, or if it's just a little bit of adhesive, you probably don't need much wicking if you need wicking at all. And if you need just some wicking, individual holders with wicking are, are typically the way it's done. If the product is like a transfer tape or a double coat or a foam tape, you'll see a lot more wicking on that product. In score slitting, there's one very popular style holder. It's about a half an inch thick. It has a piston in there that has approximately one square inch of area. So one PSI is giving you about one pound of force. It's probably used in 95% of the applications. There are other applications where it just doesn't have the strength. You don't have enough cylinder force pushing up there to get through things like a roofing material, a heavy felt that could be score cut or something with some scrim in there where you need some additional power. And you know, so you really want that additional piston size or stack pistons. On some of our holders, we'll have one piston, two piston, three pistons, or just simply a larger piston to get through there and give you more, more force through that holder, through the blade, into the score roll, and through the product. So with score slitting, the practical limit on these standard holders is a half an inch. It doesn't mean the machine has all the right ingredients to slit and rewind a half an inch but it means that the slitting knives can get to that point. We make our knives primarily 12 millimeters. That gives us a little daylight and it allows us to set the knives up in such a way that you don't have accumulated tolerance across the board for a half inch cut. Uh, as far as speed limit, it depends on the holder. You find somewhere between a thousand, maybe 3000 on the, some of the bigger piston holders and, and specific bearings to go with them, but typically around a thousand feet per minute on a standard holder. So this picture is one of our auto knife positioning systems. It's set up with 124 knives. The material could be up to 62 inch web width. There's a wicking bar right here, a tray underneath to absorb any uh, wicking um, material that might fall through. The positioner is great because you can easily go from any size between edge trimming and down a half an inch and it has storage. So that's why the beam is a little bit longer. It allows us to take half the knives out of the way and do slitting in this zone right here. So that's a cap bridge knife position. So the standard score, score holder could be adapted for hot knife slitting. This picture here represents cow rod style hot knives and we're slitting fabrics. And the idea is you're slitting it and putting enough heat into it that you're almost like uh, putting heat on a rope. You're basically sealing the edges as it goes by. So this is a static knife that goes into the score roll, heats the edges of the material as it's passing by. There's also a version of a round knife that's heated that works just like a standard score knife in the same holder, providing heat during the slitting. 